Do you have entitlement mentality or know somebody who does? So entitlement mentality, it's when you feel you have a right to something even when you haven't earned it. Uh, so you'll see this, like it's people that think the world owes them or the government owes them, my parents, my partner, uh, my workplace owes me. That's a big one. Uh, and it's just me, 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 take, take, take. And this is, this is just gonna stunt your growth on a personal level uh, and especially in the workplace as career progression uh, because you wanna get something without putting the work in. But it's also seen poorly by you know, people, by managers, for example, if you're, want, if you're entitled uh, to get things, it's just not a good look. So um, I wanna go through five signs of people who have this entitlement mentality so you can make some adjustments. An entitled person believes they deserve special treatment over others, right, don't they? I'll give you an example, right? You work in an office, there's say 10 people in your team and you're changing floors. So you're making your way up to the new floor and you look at the layer and you see this, this seat, this desk in the corner. It fits perfectly in the corner. It's much bigger than the other, uh, the other desks that are around them. And you go over to it and it's just window here, window here, and you look out the window and it's just water, parks and trees, and there's a beautiful sun shining down on the window. And the entitled person, I mean, it is amazing, right? So the entitled person's looking at this, eyes are pshh, and they go up to the manager and they say, I've got to have this window seat. I mean, I need this window seat. I won't be able to work without being next to that window. I need to be able to, you know, sit there and absorb the light um, and, just, and just take in all the nature because I, it really will affect and impact my mood and I, I don't think I'll be able to uh, work as efficiently without being in that corner seat. And, um, you know, I, I think I deserve it. The entitled person, they don't really think about anyone else. And if they do, they've usually got this long list of reasons as to why they're more worthy for things than other people. Number two, entitled people tend to lack the awareness required for the inputs to obtain an outcome. Okay, I'll give you an example. Uh, let's just say we have someone in the workplace, um, we'll call them, uh, we'll call them Bob, right? Bob, <laughs> Bob has just finished, I couldn't think of any other name, but Bob's fine. So Bob just finished a full week of in-house leadership training, uh, it's at a new company, and then after say three, three months or so, uh, a new position comes up for a management role. And then Bob naturally feels that this position should be his based on that one week of leadership training that he's done at his new company. So he goes and speaks to his manager and confidently expresses all the reasons why he should actually get the job. Now the issue is Bobby boy, he isn't seeing that the position requires you know, further experience, uh, qualifications, expertise in the area, not just a week of training and, and you know, three months into the company. But Bob, he can't fathom that he needs to demonstrate leadership skills and he needs to build these relationships with the internal and external stakeholders. Actually show that you can live the values of the company. You know, earn your stripes, Bob. Come on. So Bob is just too you know, short-sighted. He's too caught up in his, own, uh, in his own entitlement to actually see the bigger picture. Comment below with OMG. If you actually had to deal with entitlement mentality in your workplace, maybe not as extreme as Bob, but let me know. He's freezing here. Now number three, an exception to the rule. So, uh, let's see, you put your feet up at the cinemas, you know you shouldn't be doing that. You eat on public transport. Actually, I might have done that one myself. Yeah, we're not meant to eat on public transport. Uh, you, this is a big one, you jump queues because you don't feel like you should have to wait in line like everyone else. That's entitlement. Number four, you take more than you give. You, uh, take when you don't contribute. You expect people to help you when you don't even help anyone else. For example, right, I belong to a very active Facebook group. It's for uh, entrepreneurs and the group's purpose is all about peer-to-peer -peer, uh, you know, listening and discussions, right? And it's a really, really good group because it's there for people to empower each other, bring value, encourage each other. That's the purpose. And you always have people in these types of groups. And in this group in particular, there's uh, a prime example, right? Uh, we'll call her Jill. She joins a group and then off the bat, it's just question after question after question. And after about a month of just questions constantly, uh, people just stopped 
uh, answering the, the questions because there was no uh, contribution to other people's uh, posts. There was no thanking people for helping her out and answering her questions every day. She was bringing absolutely no value to anyone else. Um, there was no encouragement. There was no insight, uh, insightful things to say to them. Absolutely nothing, right? It was literally just one way, one-sided uh, entitlement mentality and people just got fed up. But get this, right? Jill ends up just getting very, very upset and ends up putting a, a post up when because people just stopped commenting and absolutely cracked it uh, and ends up saying, you know, I thought this was a group where I could get help. I guess not. And then just leaves it at that. It was unbelievable. And this brings me to actually <clears throat> sign number five, <clears throat> the fifth sign of an entitlement person, and that is they throw tantrums. Right? They, they always throw a tantrum when they don't get what they want or what they feel is fair or that they're entitled to. Like if you don't get the window seat, then you end up throwing a tantrum to the manager. You pull them into a meeting and complain about it and whinge and whine and double down on expressing why you should get it again. Uh, if you're in the queue and you're, everyone else is trying to line up, you throw this big tantrum about how you're going to be uh, on... You're going to be late, so you have to jump the queue and your time's more important than anyone else is really what you're saying. So entitled people, they just tend to throw uh, tantrums when they don't get their way. Now this video made you feel that little bit guilty because there might be some signs of entitlement in your life. Hey, that's all good, right? The first step is being aware of it and then learning and growing. That's what this video is all about. So if you do care about bettering yourself, becoming a better version, you want to be you know, a high performer in whatever area of your life, that's the first step. Make sure you check out my free download below. It's the ultimate self-reflection guide. This is very popular. I got really good feedback on this. It's jam-packed full of really powerful questions that help you unpack your thoughts and your mind and push to achieve success, high performance, and just becoming a better version of yourself. Link in the description below. That is it for this video today. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.